Hey guys, uh, this video is not really a programming tutorial, it's more of uh, an iPhone tutorial. Uh, what's going on here is my phone has been acting really, really slow. Like, it takes like five seconds just to open uh, SMS chat. So what I'm going to do is, and that's probably because I've hacked it with Pawnage and have installed a lot of crap on it. So I'm going to take you through the process of... Uh, redoing your iPhone and jailbreaking it all in one so that uh, you know in case yours is ever bogged down from jailbreaking and having so many apps then uh, you can do this process too so step one uh, of course in anything that you're gonna do to your iPhone is uh, sync the iPhone and uh, make a backup of all your data and all your apps so go ahead and go open iTunes with your iPhone connected and sync and we'll come back in a second when this is done Alright, the next step here is revert your phone back to the original state. Since we're going to be using QuickPawn to, to uh, hack the phone, it can do that and it needs to do that from its original state. So right now, we want to go over to the Summary tab and click Restore. We want to wipe out the entire iPhone. Do you want to back up the settings for Sean phone before restoring? We just did a backup, but just in case, we're going to make sure we don't lose anything. And then it's going to ask us, are we sure we want to restore it? Yes, we want to wipe out everything. It's going to go through this process, extracting the software, and then we'll be back in a second after it's in the backup, and then after it's in the restore. I'll turn it back on. Just a quick note while it's doing this process, uh, the iPhone rebooted once already, and it came up with the iTunes needs to connect to the computer from the phone business picture on the phone. So just FYI, that that's actually happening right now, and it just rebooted for a second time going through this process. All right, now we're actually at the restore stage during this process, and right now on the iPhone, it actually has the Apple logo with a loading bar underneath and it's uh, about an eighth of the way done and it's actually loading through here so when this process is done we should be good to go okay the restore should be done now and the iPhone is rebooting one last time it came up with a message that said your iPhone has now been restored to factory settings so now I'm just waiting for it to come back online and in a second here uh, it should pop back up in my sidebar the iPhone is telling me to connect to iTunes right now and there it goes now we have iPhone in the side here and let's see what's happening it's accessing the iTunes store an update to the carrier settings uh... sure that's fine um... actually you know what I'm gonna cancel I'm gonna cancel that you know what no I'm gonna do that I'm gonna update my carrier settings because I don't care Excellent. Okay, and then we're going to restore right there from the copy, because that's what we want to do. So now we're actually going to restore the backup, and my phone actually says iPhone is activated now. So once that process is done, so that's good. So now we're just going to wait for this restore to happen, and then I'll come back again. Alright, the restore should be done now, and it's going to tell me that my settings have been restored back to my backup. So now I should be clean, clean iPhone with the backup data and it's resetting one more time and in a second here uh, Sean phone should show back up in the sidebar here with all of my data apps and everything minus the jailbreak and minus all the jailbroken apps but in a second here we're gonna jailbreak it and actually get those apps so as soon as this loads up we'll be right back okay uh, my iPhone is back to normal and it did not sync any of my apps so that sucks so I'm actually as soon as it loads up in the sidebar here I'm actually gonna resync the iPhone to put all my apps back in here so actually there it is now in the sidebar so okay now it's actually gonna sync so that actually that restore process did not go very well because it should have done that already so now it's gonna sync all of my apps and data back in so we'll work with that back as soon as this is done Okay, so once your restore is done, I finally have everything back. It took about 20 minutes. You're going to head on over to the iPhone Devs Team's, Dev Team's blog, which is blog.iphone-dev.org, and you can read about what they're doing here, but we're interested in the left side. It says Official Torrents. That's going to load up the Pirate Bay, and you're going to need a, uh, a torrent client to download this one right here for what we're doing. Well, I can't really highlight it because there's an ad. 
this one right here, uh, Applications Mac Quick Pawn 225, and you need an app like Transmission on your Mac that's going to let us download. This is a free client, and it's for downloading torrents. Uh, don't do anything illegal, but it will allow you to download files such as Quick Pawn. Once you have it downloaded, I already do, I'm going to launch Quick Pawn, and basically it's going to pop up and it's going to ask to look for my iPhone. So as soon as it loads up here, there we go. Uh, it's going to give you a message. Don't mess up your phone. Okay. And then it's going to tell it's going to automatically find it. And there we go. There's our iPhone. Now, I didn't click anything. It's automatically doing this. It's searching for the newest firmware available. And if it doesn't find it, it's going to download them. And right now, it uh, should have found it already, which is 5H11 for version 2.2.1. And it's going to ask us to re replace our logos. And that's something I don't want to do. I, I'm just not a fan of that. So now it's actually going to build the IPSW, and uh, this will take a few minutes, so I'll come back as soon as this is done. All right, so the next step in the process is that it's actually requiring me to type in my administrative password. So it's doing something internally, so we're going to go and do that, and let it continue. Okay, now that it's done, uh, it's going to ask us to turn off the phone. So I, you can't watch me do this, but I'm actually going to turn off my phone here in a second. Okay, turning off the phone now, and it's going to detect what I'm doing, and it's going to walk me through the process. So now it says press home and power buttons in five seconds. So now I'm holding down both the power and the hold buttons, and in a second here it's going to give me new instructions. There we go. Now I'm going to release the power button now. Now I'm just holding the home button, as it says. And in a second, when it reaches 10, it's going to tell me to release the home button. And there we go. So now I've released it, and I get this error message from iTunes, which I can say, okay, that's fine. And uh, iTunes is now giving me another message that says it has detected a phone in recovery mode. Okay, I don't care. Go back over to QuickPawn as it's doing information. So all that is perfectly fine. You're doing the right thing here. Uh, this is just going to go through and send this data over to the phone which is basically jailbreaking it so I'll come back in one second when this is done alright this took about 10 seconds and it's just about done okay now we're sending uh, the new kernel over which is the uh, release S5L8900 if you care I'm sure you don't and this is happening pretty quick so I'll stay on for this and now it is done Oh, no, it's modifying the device. There you go. This process will allow awesome stuff to happen. Okay, so, just, okay, thank you. So now, well, I, I should have read it to you, but what it's actually saying now is it's going to reboot the device twice. Okay, some people it's once, some people it's twice. I'm pretty sure it's twice. So right now, you can't see it, but it's got the giant pawnage logo on my iPhone. It says flashing NOR, and it's actually got a progress bar at the bottom. So it's actually doing some stuff to my phone right now and in a minute it's gonna be back up and it should have the store so I'll come back when that's ready and explain why we did all this alright so everything is finally done and I have the jailbroken Cydia app store so now I can install my favorite applications which are Sycorder and PDA net which I purchased that allow me to connect to my laptop with my inner with connect through my phone to my laptop with internet wherever I am and of course video record with Sycorder so uh, you can do a lot of cool stuff with the jailbroken app store I'm not really gonna go into it too much but uh, th that's about it so thanks for watching